our Viking journey continues. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus. And yes, I'm very excited today because we're continuing Vinland Saga. And it has been quite the journey throughout the short, the short time we've been with Thorfinn. Seeing the fall of Thors at the hand of Askeladd. Well, I guess Askeladd's men. And Thorfinn already going on this sort of mini arc, mini journey of wanting revenge because he killed his father. But it kind of works in conjunction with what Thor's told his son, like before he passed, about having sort of no enemies or no gripe with with anybody. And then immediately his son is just confronted with this situation where, of course, he's gonna want revenge. I mean, the irony just reeks. But guys, we're gonna hop into this one. If you knew the channel, make sure you drop a sub and let's get started. Oh, he's still with them. I mean, Asgard told him to prove himself, and then he gets a real fight. Oh. Dude, this sounds like the narrator of the intro of, of One Piece. Chusei. Long to live in England. Hmm. I mean, I've, I've known little to nothing about... Oh, about Vikings in general before this show. So, I mean, everything is learning experience. The journey begins. What do you mean the begins? We're on number six, man. It's interesting, like, the mix of CG sometimes. So, the king of Denmark is using Vikings to, like, raid and, and, and invade. Mm. I love his voice. So if they make a path for the king to take over England, the king of Denmark to take over England, then yeah, they're they're higher ups basically automatically. Other than being cold, true. Just deal with annoying bugs. One nut. What even is that? He's got the survival skills of his father, probably. It's a pirate. Kaizoku. Is he like better than him? Mm. Mm. The battle plans. Oh my god, my god! They're in the trees! Ah! Not the horse! Is this like the English army jumping them? Were they sold out? How did they know? Bro isn't even worried! These guys are professionals! I mean, they are. are oh. Dude, that has to be the worst way to die. Like, in shows and stuff, like, people take it and then they go down. That has to be the most slow, painful death of all time. One arrow just to your chest? You would bleed out so slowly. <gasps> oh, this is his moment! He's gotta get a confirmed kill, man! N no, sir! So why do they refer to the Vikings as pirates? Is it, like, derogatory? Thorvin! Blame it on the blood of the Danes. Somebody else stabbed him. Askeladd. Attaboy! <laughs> it's like he's like teaching him lessons. All right, get back in there. God, dude, he, what is he like eight at this point? That is insane. Oh! Dude! Oh my gosh, he killed someone. I feel like this is actually a big moment for his guy. I, uh, Thorfinn, I think it, Thor, Thorfinn, I... Surely this won't create some unspeakable monster inside of him and unleash him. Dude, killing someone with such a short blade is super personal too. Like, it's an intimate way to kill someone. It changes you. Especially a child. Look at him, man. It's like, cut. oh, it's, like, it's turning up. Oh, wait. We're going to see him in like multiple battles. Oh, dude. He's getting like more and more comfortable with just taking people down. Oh, he's getting long hair. Getting much more proficient, too, with his blade. I, like, dude! But he leveled up. Oh, it's like it's like not even remotely affecting him anymore, either. They're, like, actually using him. No, he's getting older! But they're actually putting trust into him to, like, do work for them. Interesting. I mean, at this point, it looks like, like years have gone by. I did not expect him to stay with them this long. I thought Ascalad was going to be like a returning character like later in the season or something. Oh my gosh, bro. Ah, he's got his father's fighting skills. I like the fit. 
He's getting better and better. That scares me. As I feel like it should. I feel like he's becoming more like his dad was whenever he was like a fighter in his prime. What is the king's name? So the current king is like trying to use them? Command them? King Ethelred. Oh, he killed all the Danes. Oh. <laughs> Mom's just ranting. Oh! Wait, is that Thorfinn? Oh, wait. Oh, maybe he does get separated from Ascalad. 1000 AD, East and Anglia, the East. Oh, he's in England. He's got a gnarly scar. The long hair is a look, man. He honestly looks more and more like Ilva. Oh, they saved him. Straight up. Oh, no. This woman, he's gonna, like, get close to her, and then either her or her daughter's gonna die. I'm just, I'm just ready for it. This is not gonna be good. Where's your husband? He's dead, isn't he? Everybody in the show is dead. I will say, this does move very quickly. The whole thing with Thor's, and now he's separated from Askeladd. Aww. Thank you. Dad's serving in the military. Hmm. Because the Danes attacked us, so his her dad is in the English army. <laughs> Isn't Thorfinn part of that quarrel? Oh my! I was like, why is she? Why is she looking at him? <laughs> Look at the little piggy! Oh, her youngest son. Where is he now? What did I say, dude? Everybody dies in the show. I'm just ready for it. I'm just prepping myself. A Danish scout. Nope. Killed two of his highness's soldiers. So their army, basically. And the, he looks enough like uh, her daughter to like, like he like fits in with the family. She's gonna lie for him. Mm-hmm. How can you tell he's not standing up? Bro's just guessing. Bro is waffling. So the, the English refer to, like, the Danes as pirates, not Vikings. She's like, I know he's been through stuff. <laughs> yeah, actually, though. Wait, John was actually her son's name? Oh, that's a little dark. What are, you, what are you doing with that, Thorfinn? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing with that, that fire, man? What? What is he doing? <gasps> They're gonna pillage. Wait, this village? Why would he tell them to run? Where are they headed here? He was supposed to be the scout, and, and then he signals. <gasps> He's actually signaling for them to attack. Wow. Thorfinn's getting ruthless, bro. Holy. He was to see if there were, like, any enough troops for them to take on. And then this is a sign that they're able to attack. Oh. <laughs> He's just standing there! Dude! Oh my gosh! Oh, seeing her, like, snapped him back. Dude! Dude, the air! It's almost like he, like, feels guilty her seeing this, though. It's like a part of him that feels guilty. A part of him that, like, misses his mother and his sister, though. Dude. Ah! Ah! Like, how would they see him in this light? How disappointed would they be? Well, I saw like last episode, sort of the, the development of Thorfinn, but this was by far his biggest jump yet. Like calling him a changed person would be a very, very big understatement because this is a completely different person now. And I feel like he is starting to become and, and follow in the, Thor the footsteps of his father, Thor's. I almost said Thor steps. But the question is, will he reach a breaking point? I mean, I feel like he already kind of is like Thor's did whenever that switch flip and he thought about his wife, Helga. I mean, Thorfinn is, is probably like a teenager at this point, and he's already thinking about his family and how they would see him in that light. But Thor's was more like what he's missing out on if he does die, I think. Like, it started to scare him being in war because he couldn't go back to Helga. Thorfinn's a little bit different in... I feel I feel like this, this was like an episode to symbolize the loss of his innocence. And his mother sort of watching him through this woman is like a spectator of that. I don't know. It's very interesting though like 
guessed it so much. Like, this, the moves, Vinland Saga moves so fast, man. It's like Whiplash keeping up with it. But I guess we're here to stay with Asklad's crew, like, for the long run, despite everything that happened. But I think Thorvin wants to stay there too one day, challenge him to a rifle duel whenever, you know, he's not a, a child. But guys, that's been it for my reaction today. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure you leave a like on this one. It does help me out quite a bit. And I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace.